Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I made this little setup that you are seeing here right now. I'm going to show you guys all the steps that it took me to make this little DIY studio. The reason why I decided to make this video is because I've seen a lot of DIY studio videos on YouTube like tutorials and oftentimes the people who are doing the tutorial are kind of necessarily in my mind already have a studio space and what I mean by studio space is that they already have an empty bedroom or they already have a big open empty space that they can use just to set up some lights and a backdrop and it won't be that difficult but for me that's never been the case because I don't have an extra bedroom in my house first of all even when I'm in college I only have my room so I wanted to find a setup that is versatile for both my house back when I'm out of school and in my childhood bedroom and when I'm at school when I can do videos in my downtime. So I decided to make this video. It's kind of a vlog, so you're gonna be showing, I'm going to be showing you guys like the steps that I took to make this setup. So it's gonna be like, I think it was over the course of three to four days it took me to set this up and only took me that long because I had to wait for shipping. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys wanna see how I made my childhood bedroom into a studio, then keep watching. Okay, so today is day one of turning my room into a studio. The first thing I have to do is clean up the corner in which the studio is going to go to, obviously. And yeah, so this is what I'm currently looking at right now. This is what is going to be my studio space, soon to be. Actually, let's see. And all this stuff right here is trash and things you take to Plato's Closet slash Goodwill. But where the tapestry is, is probably where the paper's gonna go, the backdrop. Um, yeah, and I don't know if this corner is big enough, to be honest. So it's gonna just have to be like, play it by ear. The paper might have to go across the corner, because this is a corner where the Polaroids are. So I'm going to move the Polaroids, I already know that. But I don't know how the paper is gonna be able to fit. I don't know if it's gonna be able to fit all the way there, because the shelf up there so we will see but first let's clean this area up a little bit I'm going to go ahead and I guess order my stuff I don't I'm debating if I want hello um, I'm debating if I want to order it today Thinking I do because Amazon Prime is two-day shipping, so it will probably be here by, what's say, today's Tuesday. It will be here by Thursday. Alright guys, so all of my stuff finally came. Thankful, so thankful for Amazon Prime and BH Video two-day free shipping. Um... So yeah, I'm going to show you guys everything that I have now. It's all right here in this little corner. So these right here are the light bulbs in the soft box like diffuser part. That are the that is the stands. I can't speak English. And then these right here are my two backdrops. I have a light pink and a yellow. So yeah, let's just set this up. So here's my studio setup. My camera is on my bed. Here's my stupid cat. She tried to sabotage my photo setup. Anyway, so here's my, that's better, you can see. So here's my camera on a tripod. This is very unsafe. I would not recommend doing this. I'm really nervous about this, but honestly, this is my bed and this is how much floor space I have. And I only have a 50 and a fisheye, which I'm using right now. So I don't really have that much space when it comes to focal length. So this is what I have to do. I'm really nervous. Hopefully cross my fingers. Hope to God it does not fall. And these are my lights. Oh my God. There we go. So here are the lights. Like I said, they're from Lumi, Lumo, I said Lumi, Lumo Studio. And here's the backdrop, here's my little sitting stool, and here's the second softbox. I mean, they're super bright. I literally did my makeup in front of them. So yeah, 
I think the setup is actually pretty neat. And like I said, this is literally in my bedroom. This is very, very small. I mean, that's my door. My closet is actually on the other side of my backdrop. And this is just a corner where my light is, a mirror, my bed, my window, and then all my college stuff that I refuse to look at anymore. And yeah, that's, that's my whole room. So this space literally takes up my whole room. But, I mean, it's worth it. I think the results are pretty dang good. Alright guys, so now that you've seen how I did this, how I did... Sorry, there's a little flurry. <laughs> so now that you've seen how I did this, I'm going to give you guys some product details. So, the light boxes I am using are two soft boxes. They're from Lumi Studios. I got them from Amazon. They were $75.99. I know that's kind of expensive, and trust me, I'm like a bargain shopper. Like, this this is a splurge for me, spending this much money on something. And they had some cheaper options, and I'll leave those linked in the description below. But I was just thinking that this is more of an investment, so I'm thinking I will get a lot of use out of this. So I think putting down this much money at once will come to be more beneficial in the long run. So I have two soft boxes and I have a backdrop. Now the backdrop I have is from Savage. <laughs> I think that's the name of the like the company. It's a very popular backdrop company and honestly I'm not I don't have that much to complain about. Well uh it's just that I don't know I guess based on the photos I guess I'm just gonna say photos are deceiving when you're looking for this kind of stuff. First of all I didn't know what color to expect um, I got this color and a pink one, so I didn't really know what color to expect. I didn't know how that was going to turn out because you can only really see from photos and people can process and edit the photos and the colors the way they want to. So I was kind of weary, but I was like, I'm just going to take the plunge. Like I said, I got this color and like a bright pink color. But at the same time, I do like it that it's really long because I was able to cut the backdrop so that I can easily set it back up and take it down instead of having to unroll it every single time. And also in all the studio setups I've seen or all the photos I've seen with people using this paper is that the paper is more glossy. I don't know if it's because I bought the wrong kind maybe. I bought the wrong type of um, backdrop. I just bought like the first one that popped up on B&H video and photo or whatever their website is. Um, and I got it and it just feels like regular construction paper so I was kind of bummed out about it because this was pretty I mean it's $30 for this and I feel like it's just construction paper so there's probably is another way that you could go for getting a backdrop so you probably don't have to get this exact one so that's the only really complaint I've had the soft boxes um I will say that they were a little difficult to figure out then the instructions had like four steps and I feel like when the instructions are short it's going to be harder because they're so ambiguous but me and my friend, she helped me set it up. Um, we figured it out, so it was able to work. I mean, you'll see, you saw me put it up, and it took a while of doing it by myself. So I would definitely say that if you have another person, that's going to be super helpful. But you can totally, totally do this all by yourself. You saw me do this by myself. And my grand total of buying two soft boxes and two backdrops, I think it was $140, I think, something around that. Um, number but honestly like I said again I think that's worth it I mean it's an investment I mean these soft boxes can go for super super expensive and I got two for $75.99 and the backdrop was cheaper on B&H photo and video than it was on Amazon so I was like I'm just gonna get the cheaper option obviously always try to find the cheaper option but also know that by spending a lot more money you're gonna get better quality and that's kind of just with anything that's kind of like a less life lesson for me but yeah so I'm actually I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. It turned out probably better than I even expected it to turn out. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to start shooting and be able to do more videos with you guys and even to do more photography videos. Maybe I'll even do some behind the scenes of like a studio photo shoot. Hopefully that's the goal. But again, like I said, my space is kind of limited because I'm in my childhood bedroom. But you would never know that by watching this and that's it that's how I did the setup if you guys have any questions please please feel free to ask me in the comments below if you like this video if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more photography related videos subscribe to my channel and other than that I hope you guys have a great fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time bye